just like that, we're living on the hard. <laughs> Damn it. So I think my life's going to consist of sanding, sanding, and sanding some more. So wish me luck with all my boat repairs. It's huge. It's a huge boat. It's probably going to take me. I just I bought a palm sander, orbital sander that's pretty good, got a lot of juice to it, but it's going to take me a week or more to sand that down. That's just sanding it down to its last coat of paint. That's not even taking it all the way down to the barrier coat. So I'm just going to I'm just going to paint it. I'm going to sand it down, smooth it out, get all the old paint off of it. And there's a blue. They painted it blue with the first coat over the bare coat. I'm gonna just go to, I'm going down to that blue and then I'm gonna put a couple, two coats of cheap, $100 a gallon cheap paint on it and move on. But come over here, let's check out, this is the issue, this is why I pulled it out. This is why I pulled it out. So when there's a, from here, all the way down along here, there's a crack. I don't think it's in the fiberglass. I have to grind it down, and I'm not that worried about it. I think it's the fairing, but this skate, this this here thing right here, the uh, strut, it's got to come off, and it's not even set right now because when you look in here, it's it's thick right here. And it's thin right there. So when you come over here and you look at it, see there's a piece of rubber in there. It's thin down here and thick up here. So it's cocked. It's, it's cocked like this, right? The pressure, no. It's cocked like this. And it's doing, un, it's making this wear out. I mean, it'd be all right, but you just, it's, it needs to be straight. So this has got to come off. All this crack has to get ground out. Find out what's going on. Hopefully it's just the fairing. Clean all this up. Rebed this back in to line it up that goes through this. And then uh, these things here leak to the... Where are they at? There is... Hold on. Oh, right here, right here, these, these leak, these. So those gotta come off. And these are the sacrificials for a lot of the boat. This gotta come off, these gotta get rebedded because this one leaks. This one doesn't, but this one does, but they need to come off and get rebedded. And uh, these two grounding plates, I think these are for the radio, for the SSB. They're two ground, or, they're grounding plates. They should. They don't leak, but they should come off and get rebedded. But I don't. I don't think I'm going to do it. They're not leaking. I'm not going to mess with it. And uh, sand it down and put it back together. See, there's the dot, and there's the dot, and there's the dot, the big dot, and it goes to B. So we're B. So that dot and that B needs to be lined up. 
I thought that cone comes out. I guess it doesn't. All right, that was loose. That one loosened. That one's loosened, and that one's loose. Hmm. It'd be fun to lose the pitch and everything on here. And that's, that's loose. They're all loose, so that's good. So everything's right. Now all I gotta do is go watch a video, because I, real quick, before I take this piece off. Because right here, come in here, look. You see that? It has K-H-E-D-C-B-A. There's a dot right there. When I line this mark, look at this mark. I put a mark up here. That way that's in line. That way I know that's where it was. That B lines up with that dot. So I know to set that back at B. But here's a little dot that goes here to there. I don't know what that is. But I know B goes to the big dot. So when you put it back, you put it back like that. So, next step. There's also the numbers in here that you'll see, even though we had it like that. So the, I gotta find some key, I gotta go find keys that'll undo these zerts. And then I'll get back with it, and we'll get back to it. No jack join this up. You can't force nothing. No forcing stuff. Because there's this this hole and that hole lines up. There's a hole here and there's a hole here and they line up. Makes me think there's a there's a pin that runs all the way through. So don't I'm going to have just to wing it and see what the hell's going on. But look at that. It just comes right off. Let's see if it's missing. I think it's missing something. If there's a hole in that bolt, it's missing a key. Or it's sheared off. And then... Yep. There's the hole. So there's a pin that's supposed to go through there. Holds that on there for it won't spin off because... When I, uh, when I, you seen it, was finger loose. Now, just pull it off. Just pull it off, Shelly. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> All that is dry. It, need, it hasn't been taken apart for a long time. It was a design. Fun this is an old maxi prop. The newer ones, same size, have two, that cover that went over it, had two zerts for, you could, you could put a zert in it and grease it, and that way you could get grease in here. These old ones, the only place is in the front, and the only place there was grease on this thing was here on the front. This is dry as a bone. So, the only way to grease this thing, you gotta take it all apart, put it all back together every year, or every two years, I say every year. But so it's just another added damn more work, more work, more work. All right, so here's the first attempt because you can't find, I you have to get off, you got to buy it off the internet, a prop puller. So it's like a thing that goes over like this, and then it's got a bolt and another thing, and then these bolts are here and here. No, no. It's like this, and then it has a bar that comes up like this and goes back over, and then you just twist it, and then it, it'll pop this off of this thing. And that's, but these are $16 at Harbor Freight. So, I mean, it looks pretty good size, but I seen another guy use this to try to get his prop off, and all it did is strip out right here. Cause it's not, you can look at the steel, it's cheap steel, $16. It's not like something your dad's got, you know, from 1970 or 60 or 50, where it's made out of grade A steel and it won't strip. 
I bet you Bob's got one, my stepdad, that'll take this off. But that's way in Missouri and we're in Connecticut. Delaware. Delaware. See? Ooh, and it's close. It might not even have enough throat to get on there. It doesn't. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. All right. You got to get this lined up perfect. Right dead center. wants to bet money it won't do it I got a torch too train it's a big old train over there I'm gonna turn it off and start again guess what happened all I did is put a, a bare minimum of torque on that thing and it popped right off it wasn't even no heating no nothing so come on up here and look. You see this? There's a key right there. Can't believe that just popped up, popped off that easy. And that goes there. Spin it around, see if it'll. All right, so I'm gonna mark that keyway to bottom. I'll just put yellow there. That's why I know it goes there, like that, instead of flipping it around. Because sometimes you have to file these to get that to fit in there right. And this keyway is designed, you want this thing to be tight. So the more friction you can get as you put stuff together over that keyway, the better. Because this, if this loosens up, it'll go ting, 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 ting. You want that tight. I know. I have a feeling. Oh, look at that one that ate the... Oh, he's trying to get me. He's trying, he's trying to reach me. <laughs> You're a little light. suffering. <laughs> Just close the lid and forget about it. Let's go.
Hi guys, click thumbs up if you like this video. And three, two.